Hello everyone, welcome to the cloud network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install your Linux Mint that is latest version 7.2 is the latest version of this Linux Mint. Uh, the name has been given this uh, Cinnamon and your Mint. You can also download uh, Cinnamon or Mint and it's support for LTS that is long term supported and it's uh, I have downloaded this one uh, made for the 64 bit supported and for the I am going to install it in virtual box so let us begin now this one so you can install in desktop laptop or server or with the help of pen drive or you need to have DVD bootable you need to make it uh, we need to have pen drive at least 4 GB of free space and you need to have at least DVD of 4.7 GB you need to make uh, both a bit bootable for this installation in your desktop and laptop or server so minimum requirement for this installation is you need to have 1 GB processor or dual core and 2 GB of RAM you need to have 20 GB of disk space you need to have our uh, graphic card should be at least 102.7 and uh, you can install with the DVD or USB and here is the link where you can download this uh, Linux Mint 17.2 this the name is Rafila and you have the size is ISO image is 1.6 is the GB of this size downloaded so all these uh, steps and commands links you can find below to my video in the description description box so let us begin first of all here is your virtual box downloading open open the virtual box website here you can find this 4.3.28 as the version for this virtual box when for the windows purpose you can click and download here and for this OS Solaris people you can click and download here so the virtual box has been come with the latest version upon update here is a link but just you type copy and paste these links you know, press enter you can see on the screen the virtual box 5.0 is the latest version the size is triple one MB which I have already downloaded so cancel this from this link Oracle also you can download this uh, virtual box just copy and paste the link and here is the Oracle website where you can see the download once you scroll down here you can see on the screen 64 bit 32 bit max other platform or detail in here is showing so you can download is once you need to click and download this one Linux Mint people here is your Linux Mint 17.2 Rafila and here is when you scroll down you can see the code name is that is Rafila's name and for the download you can see the cinnamon made 32 bit or 64 whichever you want to download you can download if i want to download 32 bit you can download 30 bit if you want to download 64 you can download 64 please remember it support only desktop not supported server also both uh, our 32 bit and 64 bit support only server once you click on this uh, 32 bit and 64 bit it will be start automatically downloading and for this lmde uh, that means linux mint debian uh, edition also people can download here is the link it's showing and uh, supporting you can download and if you want to have all version also you can click and find this uh, previously version also you can find documentations also is there once you click on this all version you can see this supported long term and support until april 2019 please remember it support only until april 2019 after that it will become with a different version so here is my virtual box you can see on the screen this is the action package or uh, let me delete this one we don't require this one and here is your linux mint 17.0 made 64 bit 1.8 uh, is a gb uh, 1.5 GB is the ISO image which I have done. So let us start the virtual box first of all. So here is my virtual box. So first of all, we need to double click or press enter here first. Start in installation this one. You need to run this one. Click on run and you need to click on next. And if you want to change the location of this virtual box, you can browse the location and change the location. Once you also you can check this everything installing or not along with the virtual box and you can check the display uses also click on next and this is the shortcut is going to create a registry file don't do anything here nothing we need to just click on continue here and the installation proceed now installation here just ignore the warning and upon the click to install now wait for the few minutes to complete the installation so on the screen you can see the virtual box installed successfully we need to click on finish now uh, upon clicking on finished it will become the virtual box you can see here is the virtual box installation and here we'll check the version click on go to about virtual box so you can see on the screen this is your version 5 point so click on new here once you click you need to type here linux mint which i am giving the name of this uh, is uh, operating system 
and I am giving a team mate here. Upon you need to select your version whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit which you have downloaded. After that you need to click on next and uh, you need to assign the uh, RAM also here. Once you assign according to you need to do not go to uh, beyond this red point. Red point you can you need to select the last at the green point only. And once you next and click on next, go to the next, next, and this is your uh, location where it is going to store and save in your system or laptop. And this is a uh, 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 size of hard disk which I am giving at least uh, uh, 30 GB for this uh, Linux Mint 17.2 installation. You need to click on create it now. You need to click on settings. You can press Control R also shortcut. Go to the systems and check floppy and then you need to cl click on processor click enable ape slash nx go to the storage click on empty and then you need to click on the small uh, uh, cd icon you need to choose your uh, uh, icon where you have downloaded iso image just double click and go to your network assign your bridge adapter here and do do nothing here do we do not do anything here just click to ok here and once you press ok you need to click on start here normal upon click you can see automatic booting you can see this is your welcome to the linux mint made 1764 bit you can have this one so you need to select your uh, start linux mint press and enter now on the screen you can see this is your live uh, linux mint game we need to install if you want to access the without installation means uh, you can access your linux mint without the installations if you want to install linux mint just double click on your Linux Mint. Before installing, also you can uh, check your Linux Mint about the, this one, how the features came or not in this Linux Mint. On the screen, you can see automatically virtual box assigning the full screen here. I don't need to install any other third party tool or any other packages for this full screen to come up. So you can see I'm just dragging and drop to come with the full screen is showing here. So here we need to select your language. Uh, for this welcome screen click on continue so you can select your different language which language you belongs to so you can see better for result is showing that's this is where right mark is came uh, if it is cross mark came means you need to resolve that error and you need to continue otherwise if you, a cross mark came means you cannot continue the installation click on continue here again and here is showing this uh, if you are installing fresh hard disk means you need to select this option if you have already data on your hard disk means just you need to take a backup before completing want to form means take a backup of your data and then continue with this uh, installation if you want to have a uh, data plus you want to installation means you can select that something else that means required to create a partition size here you need to assign manually partitions here i am selecting this one automatic partitions here and i'm going to click on continue installation so here the final going to is write that this so in showing the extension for the package and so two partitions has been created and it's going to format it these two partitions so click on continue here if you want to go to uh, want to do some changes in the partition you can click on go back and do the changes you need to select your time zone uh, by default it's having select if you came wrong time zone you can select different time zone you need to select a keyboard lay, lay, uh, layout uh, this will continue by default selected uh, here we need to give your name uh, I am giving a username cloud and I am giving my full computer name this cloud network ok and pickup will be and by giving the password I am giving the weak password please you need to give a strong password here and I am selecting login automatically that means it's go, now, whenever I log in into the, my system of Linux it does not ask, ask any password if you want to ask whenever you log in the password you need to check this box click on continue so that's uh, here is the final that's it so here is the final that's going to copy it and uh, almost here it may it may takes your 20 or 25 minutes to complete the installations till then you can have a coffee or cup of tea then you can have a break then back to then i will show you this complete installation on the screen you can see the installation has been completed the switches you can see uh, without restarting you can continue the installation or you can go ahead continue the testing and I am going to avoid this restart uh, you need to restart it now uh, uh, when you install you need to restart it so please remember I am going to continue this testing here itself only
see on the screen this is your Linux Linux Mint. Uh, you can see on you can see on the name it's coming Linux Mint 17.2. Or uh, you can see this is the menu system manager network Firefox browser. By default this one is the full screen is coming. We don't need to install any get a, a guess addition here also. Let us check this full screen working or not. So you can see this is your full screen is working. Those uh, if you have any um, doubt or any clarification you can comment below to my video and you can like us my video and share my videos among your friends and your relatives help to spread my channel and please subscribe to ID Cloud Tech channel thank you for watching ID Cloud Net video Thank mm -hmm. you.